little bird. I would never build a house on the ground. I would build my house next to the highest oak tree where the wild boys would never tear it down. That applause. I was free as a little bird can be. I was free as a little bird can be. Sitting on a roadside morning all my days for nobody cares for me. Well, if I was a little hungry, all to the fields I would roam. Yes, yes, yes. Then I'd steal a kiss from my sweet lover's lips, and away I would fly to my home. I'm as free as a little bird as I can be. I'm as free as a little bird as I can be. Sitting by the roadside on all my days, nobody cares for me, and I don't know the song. If I was a pretty little star, what do you do? I'd smile down on the world. I would shine my light on my true love and I'd play on her little bird. Uh-huh. I'm a free little bird I can be. I'm a free little bird I can be. Sitting on the roadside for all my days, for nobody cares for me. If I was a big, handsome man, well, you are, sure. I'd find me a pretty girl to love. <laughs> I'd give her a hug in my big, strong arms, and we'd groom the stars up above. Now, let's sing. I'm a free little bird I can be. I'm a free little bird I can be. Sitting on the roadside for all my days, for nobody cares for me. I'd raise my face to the blue <laughs> and bask in the sun and laugh when it rains and be free just for you. I'm a free little bird I can be. I'm a free little bird I can be. Sitting on the roadside going all my days. Nobody cares for me. Oh, yeah. If I was a rugged western sheriff, what you I'd track you down and then you'd see. Then I'd lock you up in the jail in my heart. Then I'd throw away the key. I'm a free little bird I can be. I'm a free little bird I can be. Sitting on the roadside of all my Nobody cares for me. You took my seat there. Well, I like to sit. Thank you. Of course, the little birds helping me on our show, rolling along tonight, were Martha Carson, Carl Smith, Margie Singleton, Leroy Van Dyke, and Suge Fisher. And speaking of little birds, <laughs> there's one I'd like to see, uh, see fly right up there to the top. Of course, I might have a little personal reason since I just recorded it. Little sparrow, little sparrow, singing in a high oak tree. Little sparrow, little sparrow, won't you sing a little song for me? Ho, oh, oh, ho, you're the happy one. No cares, just a lot of fun. But you didn't lose your only one. You didn't lose your only one. Little sparrow, little sparrow. Sitting on top of the world Little sparrow, little sparrow Should have given another girl the world How, oh, how, oh, cause you're so free Just singing in a high oak tree Singing it, laughing at fools like me Laughing at fools like me Singing in a high oak tree Ones like you I say Will I 
Saying, I think all of Red Foley's friends will be very pleased to hear that Red is home from the hospital and he's getting along just fine. But now, from Eddie Arnold, we're going to turn to Margie Singleton. But while Margie finishes powdering that pretty little nose of hers, let's listen to this. Where are you bound for, Brother Brett? Down to the hotel to make a reservation for Pappy. Yeah, well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. What do you mean? About Pappy getting himself engaged to be married? Yeah. The girls, uh... A little young, seems to me. Eighteen? Yeah. Well, maybe too young for me, but you know Pappy. Were you the girl? Yes, sir. Well, I must say I can't blame him. You are lovely. Always said he was too stubborn to get old. Yeah, he also said uh, there's no maverick like an old maverick. Three, four, five. When's he coming, anyway? Well, he'll be here this Sunday on ABC TV. That is, if he doesn't get held up in a poker game or arrested by some unfriendly sheriff. You never can be too sure about any of us, Maverick. Be sure to watch for him, because Pappy is loaded with fun and entertainment. Rough sailing for Brett tomorrow, following Broken Arrow on most of these stations. to refuse Sing mighty well. Well, thank you, Eddie. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's a well-known song you did there. I like the old ones, don't you? Oh, tis true. I sure do. Well, speaking of old ones, Leroy Van Dyke has a good one that I'm sure everyone will recognize. Say, that's a good one. You don't have to be a baby to cry. Why should I lie? 
to be a baby to cry. Thank you, Leroy. One of the few funny men on our show has been taking part in the World Entertainment Invitational Golf Tournament. And he carried the Jubilee banner proudly. Chug Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> how do you do? How do you do? Do 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 do? Well, one do, do you do? <laughs> <laughs> We're yes. mighty proud of your accomplishments, Chuck. Well, thank you very much, Eddie. And you know, there are two, two things that I'm happy about tonight. Uh -huh. And, uh, uh, well, it's uh, tonight's my anniversary. One year on you do Jubilee USA. Well, one year. Congratulations. One year, Yeah, huh? and you know something? When I first come down to the uh, Jubilee here, I was like what you'd call um, an unknown failure. An unknown an unknown failure? Yeah, and after one year on, on Jubilee USA TV, Everybody in the whole country knows I'm a failure. Oh, gee. <laughs> and I've got the talent to do it. Yeah. I yes, bet sir. You. That's what you call starting at the bottom and staying there. Uh-huh. And ever since I've been out here tonight, there's something that I've been wanting to t t tell you, and it pains me. It pains you? Yes, sir. What's that? You're standing on my foot. Oh. <laughs> you know. Well, now, go on to tell us about... Now, I know you want to tell us how you won this trophy. And listen, we're not kidding you folks. He really won this tournament out there in California. And, and I know you don't want to tell us anything oh, no, about no. it. Yeah, yeah, as you said earlier, I've been out in California lately. You did you're playing in Maury Luxford World Entertainment Golf Championship for the Mobile Motion Picture Relief Fund. And boy, did I have to run. I'm telling you something, my boy. Well, why don't you come on and show us how you hit the ball, how you stroke the ball to win this tournament. Well, I want to tell you about the celebrity that's there. Oh, it's the entertainment thing. Bob Hope and uh, uh, Bob Crosby and Mickey Rooney and Jerry Lewis, Bobby uh, Robert Sterling and Johnny Wisemiller, Pat uh, Costello, uh, Billy Barty, uh, uh, Bob Wilkie, Eddie Dean. I could go on for hours like that. And there were so many celebrities. I was the only person there that I'd never heard tell of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, hit yeah, the ball. Okay, I okay. want to show, show me how you won that tournament. All right. That's a good plug in there. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you know, uh, I, when I was playing golf out there, I wore two, uh, two pair of pants. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I guess I'm supposed to ask you why, huh? It'd be right neighborly of you if you did. <laughs> okay, why did you wear two pair of pants? That was in case I got a hole in one. Oh. <laughs> I think I got a hole in one. Don't you see? Hit the ball and got the hole in one shot. I get it. I get it. I, I get think it. you were about the only one who did, though. <laughs> you know, Pat Costello gave me that gag. Yeah? Yeah, I can see why we wanted to get rid of it, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, you lay the eggs or it's up to you to hatch it. From a standing position, too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the hard part right in there. Yeah. Hey, hit the ball. Okay. I'll... Oh, you know, when I, was, I stayed in one of their uh, swanky m -m motels. Yeah. It was so swanky, you couldn't even get in a swimming pool without a tie and jacket. Oh, gee. <laughs> I, went, I went down to breakfast, Eddie, you know, and this smart attic waiter coming up there, and, I, and being from an old country boy, I said, to this, I said to him, I said, them eggs fresh? And he looked me over and he said, Hill, Billy, those <laughs> eggs are so fresh, the hens haven't even missed them yet. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of got me there. Hit the ball. Okay, <laughs> announce me. Announce me. Announce you? Yeah, announce me. Oh, maybe. Gee whiz, I've already announced. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Spread it on. Spread it on, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, on the Jubilee USA, Springfield, Missouri, here is Shug Fisher stroking a golf ball. Now, quiet, please. Now, you have yeah. to be real quiet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> uh, please, ladies and gentlemen, no, no cameras. <laughs> not you! Not you! <laughs> You could be replaced by a cameraman, you know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hit the ball. Yeah, or four, four. 
Looks like I got a little slice on that one. Yeah, it did. It's coming back. Look out for her! <laughs> that was a narrow escape, wasn't it? Oh, my. Good Fisher. Someday he's going to get a hole in one, and he's just going to be as happy as... Uh, well, he's going to be as happy as you'll be if you take advantage of this. You made a mistake, kid. You should never have wrote those things in that book of yours, but no one will ever read it. <laughs> Johnny Yuma, the kid who fights alone and writes the truth as he sees it. As he wanders the West facing human problems as savage and fascinating as this land he belonged to. And you're good with this gun of yours. Very good. All the ingredients for an early grave. A teenager who rebelled against authority and those who misused it. You go for that gun and I'll make you eat it. Here is a story of youth in an adventurous age that televiewers of every age will enjoy through every exciting minute. The Rebel, every week on ABC TV. Rugged adventure tomorrow, following Lawman on most of these stations. One of the best known boys in the singing business is a neighbor of mine and a fine farmer. I've never asked him to farm for me, but I've often asked him to sing for me. I'm sure you have too. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Carl Smith. <laughs> I sure was happy to hear that one of my favorite singers was going to be on the Jubilee this evening. And if I can get Slim to find the chord over there, that's it. I'd like to get Miss Martha Carson started on one of her special gospel songs. Martha Carson. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> 
God walked down by the briny sea. Stop the evil of the sinful man. I'm just glad that he would destroy the land. Stop to Noah, brother Noah. Stop it and look again, Noah. Build me an ark. I want you to build it big and strong. I'll build it 300 cupids long. Forty hop, about 50 wide. I want to stand in my ring and tide. On this day, I make my mark. In a hundred years, I want that ark. When I get through with this evil land, not a living thing is going to stand. Except the things that I'm telling you. That I'm gonna need when the world is new. I've been east and I've been west. I've decided to put this world at rest. I've been up and I've been down. Nothing but evil all around. I've seen brother turn against brother. I've decided it'll go no further. Women weep and children mourn. Sorry the day that man was born. Sinful people one by one. Sorry the day my wrath begun. It's gonna rain, rain, rain. It's gonna rain. What to do? Brother Noah began to cut and hew. The ringing of the hammer was judgment. The ringing of the soul cried out, repent. A hundred years he hammered and saw. Built that ark by the grace of God. After that key foundation was laid, he found the timber and the ark was made. Called in the animals two by two. The ox, the camel, and the kangaroo. Even to the monkey and the crocodile. And a little bitty animal that couldn't smile. Cat in that ark so tight. They all couldn't get no sleep at night. Called in Jeff. And Sham and Ham, God began to flood the land. Raised his hands to help me on high and knocked that sun and the moon from the sky. Shook the mountains and he stirred the sea. Hitched his chair to the chariot wheel. Stepped on the land and stood on the shore. Declared his time wouldn't be no more. Declared his time wouldn't be no more. Declared his time wouldn't be no more. And in this rain, little children, in this rain, in this rain, in this rain, little children, in this rain, in this rain. Miss Martha, that's what I call real joining music. Well, thank you, Eddie, but what do you mean by joining music? Well, Martha makes you want to join in. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for, fellas? What are we waiting for? <laughs> It was good for my mother. It was good for my mother. Lord, it's good enough for me. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Paul and Silas. That is good enough for me. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. For me. It was good for the Hebrew children. Yeah. It was good for the Hebrew children. It was good for the Hebrew children. And it's good enough for me. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. It will take us all to heaven. It will take us all to heaven. It will take us all to heaven. Lord, it's good enough for me. Give me that old time religion. Give me that. visit us on Jubilee USA, but this week's show isn't over by a long shot, and Eddie Arnold will be right back after we excite your imagination with this 60 seconds. Come on, kids, let's count down. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, fun days. Maddie and his friends make Sunday fun day. Every Sunday at 5, they come swinging your way with a load of laughs for the day. So enjoy yourself. Join the fun with Matty. 
Baby Huey, Playful Little Audrey, and Casper. You'll meet all your Harvey Toon friends, a whole family of playful playmates on Maddie's Fun Day Funnies, Sundays at 5 on ABC. <laughs> Gee, Casper, you play real good. Casper is a tiny ghost, doesn't fall or scared. He likes to laugh and play all day and make friends everywhere. Casper plays Hide and Shriek tomorrow at 5 on most of these stations. <laughs> You know, all of us have real good friends who've left us behind. And Memorial Day is the time we stop and think about them and remember what friendship really means. Well, each one of you think of a particular buddy of yours. And I'd like to song, sing a song which carries the feelings of all of us. Nights are long since you went away, I think about you all through the day, my buddy, my buddy, nobody quite so true. Miss your voice, the touch of your hand. Just long to know if you understand, my buddy, my buddy. Thank you so much. It's been fun being with you tonight. We hope you've enjoyed it. I think Joe Slattery has already told you that June Valley, Cowboy Copas, and Patsy Klein will join us right here next week, and I'm looking forward to that. I want to thank Martha Carson and Carl Smith for calling on us here this evening. And by the way, I want to say I'm Eddie Arnold. Thanks so much for looking in. Be good, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Brett Maverick buys a riverboat and sails into danger. See tomorrow's surprise-filled adventure on the ABC Television Network.